Welcome back trainers. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. In this video, we're going to be kind of continuing the Ferrothorn thing, but we're going to be pairing it up with Dracology, which is going to be the core here. For the third Pokemon, we're going to be using several different Pokemon throughout this video here. And then we're going to swap Dracology and put it in the front later down the line. You're going to see the leads and how they dramatically change here. Now, as far as Ferrothorn is concerned, you got Flash Cannon, Acid, and also Mirror Shot that you could potentially run instead of Power Whip and Thunder. I like to go with Thunder because I'm going to be able to hit those Flyers. And then, of course, Power Whip is just getting stabbed and it's an extremely strong move. And then Bullet Seed is going to be generating energy at a very fast rate. Now, being Grass and Steel, again, anytime you pair up Steel with anything, it's just going to become that much better. Of course, you, you know, pair it up with Dark or with Rock or Normal. Yeah, it's going to make it four times weak or grass in this case, and we're going to be four times weak to fire. But you're also going to be picking up many resistances, which is going to help you out quite a bit. And then paired up with Dragalge, it's amazing. It's going to be working wonders here. So uh, let's go ahead and see what we have going on here. We're going to be pairing it up with a zoom roll first time around. And then again, like I said, we're going to be swapping that out. We do have several of the things we're going to be doing. Deoxys defense form, lantern, and I think another one down the line here. But with that said, if you do enjoy my content, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And not only if you just enjoy it, but if you just want to support me, hitting that like button really does help me out quite a bit, folks. I really do appreciate it if you can do that. Or if you want to take it a step further, you can actually even donate. That's going to be a big help to the channel. All right, so what do we got going on here? Zoomerl holding it down up against this Trevenant here out of shields. But we're going to be able to get to this Ice Beam, which is going to be enough to take out this Trevenant here. And we're going to be looking good. And then we're going to just bubble down that Galarian Stunfisk, and we're taking the win. Let's keep it moving here. You may want to use this quick before we do transfer over into the Ultra League and Ultra Premier. Personally, that's my favorite, but I know a lot of people don't really like that. So you may want to give this a shot before we do swap over. All right, so we're up against a Knocked Owl. This is not horrible. We've seen this in the last video here. Being part steel is making it so we don't necessarily take super effective from the sky attack, but unfortunately, they're going to be able to spam it at a pretty decent rate here. So if you're wondering why you're going for a power whip, just so we can get a shield. We did have a thunder, but this is going to make it so they're not going to be uh, able to have in the back of their mind, I can farm them extra. I'm going to have to get this off now before they get to that thunder. And that's why we went for that there. Bringing in the Azumarill here, as we're going to be able to at least tank these moves a little bit better than Dragalge, although the jo <laughs> man, can't speak. Although Dragalge can take a hit, it's going to be able to absorb it better and farm up with the Azumarill. Bringing in a Trevenant, coming back for a little revenge up against that Azumarill. Going to go for the Ice Beam, they're letting it go. Swapping into Dragalge, which is almost taking them out. And they're going to be bringing in their last Pokemon, which is going to be an Obstagoon. And this is a great matchup here, because we're going to be able to resist the counter, which is not even going to be getting stabbed. Night Slash is neutral, but again, Dragalge can take a hit. So we're looking good here. I really enjoy this Pokemon a lot. Also, you're not going to be taking super effective from fairies. It's just going to be neutral because of the part poison type on it. And if you've been seeing a theme, yes, if you don't know, if you're new to the channel, I love poison types. Okay, that's that's my thing. All right, so bringing in the Azumarill at this point, we're going to go ahead and let this go. Farm them down here and then hit that Trevenant with an Ice Beam. We're going to be looking good to go. They're going to be swapping though. Okay, sounds good. Going to go for that Ice Beam, take them out, and then bubble down that Obstagoon. And we take the win again with the Azumarill at the end with his bubble. All right, next battle, we're going to be met with an Obstagoon, which is a bad lead. Now, there was many horrible front counters, middle swaps, which are countering me, and at the end, another counter. I'm not going to include those battles because there's really not much to learn from them at all. There's nothing to learn from them. <laughs> if anything, it's just like, well, yeah, that's that's the nature of the game. You can't come back from every battle, and every, sometimes a battle is just doomed from the get-go. There's just nothing you can do. Okay, so a Lantern up against Dragalge. Now, this is a decent matchup here, although the Thunderbolt is doing kind of a dumb amount of damage, so we kind of need to look out for that, although we've gotten bold shields out of them at this point. So we're going to go ahead and just let this go. Bring in the Ferrothorn and farm them down. So let's see what we're going to have going on here in the back. Yes, they're going to be able to get off one more Surf, but it's not very effective. Same with Thunder. And we're going to be coming out of this with a whole heck of a lot of energy and a shield as well. Bringing back that Obstagoon, which is fine going to be taking a lot of damage from that power whip which we're going to go ahead and throw here and then swap into our Azumarill. we're going to be looking good to go now we do have hydro pump on it 
waiting for a Bastodon, and of course I never really encountered one with it because of course we do have Hydro Pump, so the game was like, no. Algorithm said, nay, we're not gonna align you with that. But we're up against a Knocked Owl here, which is also a fine matchup. Gonna go ahead and just simply shield up that first Sky Attack just to give us some cushion space to get rid of this thing. We've got the Obstagoon in the back here, so we kinda wanna maintain that health. Getting to the next Ice Beam, and Obstagoon is really not gonna be able to do much here unless it did have Gunk Shot and, well, the energy ready to go to get it off. So at this point, we're looking good. We don't have any more shields, so we're just gonna simply obviously let this go. <laughs> They're getting the boost though, so what we're gonna do is swap in here. Bring in the Ferrothorn, and they're going to be able to farm us up, but we are at an Ice Beam. I don't know why I swapped, but I did anyways, just in case the game BS'd me up and didn't let me get the uh, charge move off before they did. All right, moving it on to our next one after taking the win again with the Azumarill at the end, and we're met with another bad lead with the Oxus here. Now, technically, the charge moves are not very effective. We could technically stay and be okay. But we're just going to go ahead and swap because I'm not trying to take all that counter damage. Bring it in the Lantern here. They're going to go ahead and stay here. And, uh, well, we have Water Gun. Did I do that intentionally? Not really. I didn't care. It was set up for another League. It's just had it. And I just rolled with it because having Water Gun is actually not horrible, actually. So we're going to go for another serve here just to do uh, some damage before we obviously go down. But we're going to be able to take that win and they're bringing in a Drift Blim to farm up here. Now we need to look out for Jigalji because we're going to be taking super effective from the Icy Wind. So we're going to go ahead and bring in our Ferrothorn here. And they're going straight for the Shadow Ball. Now if we go for Thunder we're going to be almost one-shotting if not one-shotting them. Uh, so we're going to go for Power Whip to kind of bait them up. Okay, sounds good. We got a shield out of them. That's great. Obviously, this is not going to be good. Icy Wind is probably going to be enough to take us out. We may barely survive. I think we would. It's not necessarily super effective. So they lowered our attack. We go for Thunder, and they're swapping into their Toxapex, which is still taking super effective from the Electric, but it is going to be a tanky Pokemon, and also they did lower our attack. So we're going to go ahead and bring in Jigalji, which actually completely and utterly walls this thing here, uh, except for the fact that Sludge Wave is still doing kind of a stupid amount of damage. And that's the annoying part about Go Battle League, is the things that are resisted are still doing way too much damage. Like, what? I'm freaking poison over here. Like, why is that still... But it hits so hard, it's got a lot of damage. Okay. Still still BS. All right, so we're able to get to the Outrage here with the Jigalji and take the win. Let's go. Just, just keep it moving. What are we going to see in the next battle leading with that Ferrothorn still? Met with another knockdown. Okay. Okay, let's deal with it. So we got the Deoxys in the back. And I think we're going to be sticking with this one here for a while. And we're going to let that first guy attack. We are, you already know what it is. You, you already know. All right, so knocked out. I've been seeing it everywhere. And again, if you're like, man, I, I don't see any of these Pokemon that you're seeing in the, in the order that, I, that, that you're encountering them. Or I never see that Pokemon ever. Maybe once in like... All of my sets, I, I see it maybe a couple of times. I'm not even talking about Knocked Out, other specific Pokemon. Well, again, it's really based off what Pokemon you have. Well, actually, what moves you have on your team. That's it. And a lot of it, I do believe, is based off of what you got in the back. That's what you're going to see in the front. We've been over this many times before. So this Metacham, stubborn as hell, staying alive with about 2 HP. Okay. Down they go with a counter. All right, so they've used well, no shields. I've, I've used one. Lovely. So, uh, man, we're going to let this go. This is not going to KO us here. And we're actually going to be able to get to the Psycho Boost. Maybe we might be able to get to another one. Highly doubt that. It's going to be close. Yeah, not able to get to it. So, of course, uh, what could we do? I mean, we could bring in Ferrothorn, but we're going to go ahead and bring in Jigalji because at this point, taking a Surf is going to be kind of bringing us low as opposed to the, the Jigalji, which is just absorbing everything over here. So we're going to go ahead and bring it in and drag and tail it up up against this lantern here. Going for a thunder, doing a decent amount. They're swapping. And now we're going to go ahead and start throwing these aqua tails to get rid of this knocked owl here. Surviving. And then we're dragon tailing down, going for an aqua tail, which is not very effective, but it doesn't really matter at this point. They're so low that we're going to be able to take the win here anyway. So we swap into our ferret thorn, almost getting to that power whip so stinking close but we survive with one hp and we're actually able to get to it here so let's go ahead and uh get their last shield they're farming us down we bring in the jugalgy and we're dragon tailing them down and taking that win and looking good here got a pretty long video folks the steam did pretty good all right next battle met with a deoxys and we're gonna go ahead and retreat because i'm not trying to go up against that psycho boost nonsense so here we go we got the mirror match going on they're not swapping for now, that doesn't necessarily mean that there's anything in the back that doesn't want to see it. They're just 
holding their ground up against ours. So let's see what we have. All right, they've got Rock Slide compared to my Thunderbolt here. Which one's better? Well, they both play a specific position here. So it's not really like, what's better? It really depends on what you want for coverage on your team. All right, so we're getting them pretty close here, almost getting to the Psycho Boost, and that's fine. We're gonna be able to simply farm them down. We could bring in our Ferrothorn to do that. So uh, we could, we are bringing in Jigalji again because we don't want them to see, because there it is, there you go. Good thing we did not because they're bringing in a damn Charizard. So something in the back that maybe doesn't want to see Dragalgy. okay? So we got our first shield out of them, sounds good. They can hit us with Dragon Claw, which is super effective. So we're gonna go ahead and shield up this first one here since we got the pressure on. And we can take a Dragon Claw here. But here's the thing, we kind of need to win this matchup because Ferrothorn, although it does have Thunder and it can almost one-shot the Charizard, we still don't really want to go up against that because of the Blast Burn potential. So they're going to be getting to it. This is not going to KO, but it's going to be very close. And I immediately swap and they've got a Dragonair in the back. Okay, so this is getting kind of crazy. The Dragology has an Aqua Tail ready to go, right? It's got also one HP. The problem is we're going up against a Dragon Breath user, which is going to be able to pretty much sneak a quick move through before we're actually able to even see our Pokemon. That's one of the broken features of this Go Battle League that we're seeing here that uh, it's really a little bit annoying, to be honest with you. And it's kind of a hidden feature. Uh, gaining a, a little bit more energy than anticipated while throwing a Pokemon out into battle is a real thing. So we're not even able to get off the Aqua Tail, even though I was spamming the hell out of it and they're taking me out, which is, I personally believe, complete BS. Next battle, we're met with a Lantern here. All right, so it's a good matchup, okay? <laughs> so we resist everything. We don't really need to worry. Although that Thunderbolt is really gonna start to add up here. Gonna go straight for the Outrage to see if they wanna let this go and give up a shield. And they're gonna be catching though with a Galarian Stunfist. Outrage, not very effective. Nice catch. Bringing in the Deoxys to do that counter damage. Just throw in the Thunderbolt because, well, we might as well get off that energy before we do cap out here. They're gonna be going for Earthquake. They're not gonna be able to get to another one here. And it looks like we kind of needed to throw that Thunderbolt so we can finish them off just in time before they farm us down. Perfect. So throwing that Thunderbolt was what we needed to do. Bring it in that Lantern again. We're going to go ahead and go for the Psycho Boost. And we're getting a shield out of them, which is great. Now we'll go ahead and bring in our Ferrothorn, even though the Dragalgy would love to see this. It's a better matchup with the Ferrothorn, technically, because it is a little bit better at absorbing what they're going to throw at me. They're going to be retreating with energy, and they've got no more shields. And they bring in a Shadow Charizard Ferrothorn. One shot that sucker. Let's go. And then we're taking the win because they back out, and we're still holding on to two shields. You better believe it. Moving it on to the next battler, a Mantane. Okay, this is not the best because we are going to be able to take super effective from Ice Beam. So we're going to go ahead and retreat and bring in our Deoxys here. And they're hitting me with a Bubble Beam, which I was suspecting that was going to happen. Going to go straight for the Thunderbolt here on that Shadow Swampert with our attack being lowered. Still doing a decent amount of damage to that thing. Fortunately, we didn't get off Psycho Boost, which would have been fantastic at that point but they are letting it go. Now we're going to go ahead and get it off, which is still going to be doing a decent amount, seeing that Thunderbolt did, and they're letting it go and surviving barely. Wow, how annoying. So we're not going to go ahead and use the shield now. Let it go. Bring in the Ferrothorn and farm them up here. Let's see what they want to bring into battle. Hopefully it's not going to be a fighter, but if it is, that's fine. They're bringing in the Mante. Oh, there's something in the back that does not want to see Ferrothorn. Is that another water type back there? You have a ground type in the back. You got a dragon or a fairy back there. Hmm, I wonder what it is. So we're getting one of those shields there. Sounds good. Now we gotta look out for that ice beam. So we're gonna shield this up, but of course they're gonna be baiting me. So now we're gonna go straight for the thunder here. If they want a shield, that's great. They're gonna use that last shield. And now we're gonna immediately bring in our Dragalgy. And they're swapping and they've got a lantern back there. There it is. This is why Dragalgy and Ferrothorn are reigning supreme, is because of all these lanterns that are roaming around because they are trying to counter the new flying meta. So you counter the counters to the meta. Okay, that's how you play the game. It's pretty fun, works works out for me, unless you have um, a hard mode account in which you're gonna be getting countered left and right. Again, I could make this video an hour long showing you all of the hard counters, but what's the point at that, at that point? <laughs> would, would, all you would hear is me complaining, okay? Um, and it would be justifiable because it is very annoying and it's literally it's like being thrown in a ring 
with somebody who's got spikes on their boxing gloves and you're said to use uh, boxing gloves that are like pillows. It's like, well, yeah, good luck. And no kicking, okay? <laughs> no chokehold, only using those pillow gloves versus that guy using the boxing gloves with freaking needles and spikes and screws. So good luck. <laughs> That's the algorithm right here. <laughs> so it's good. We got this um, obstacle up against our Deoxys. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Countering them down. Get out of here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Psycho Boost just to do as much damage before they do farm is down with that. It's like a water gun. Getting to the next one, unfortunately not able to get it off, but this works as well as they're going to be using up that energy. Sounds good to me. Bring in the Ferrothorn and we're up a shield. We're looking great. Swapping into a Ninetales, which, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and stay right the heck here because we got Dragalgy that's going to be able to handle that Lantern. Now, just because we're part steel doesn't mean we're taking, you know, super, super resisted damage from the Weather Ball, which is going to be ice. We're still part grass, and it is going to be still doing a decent amount of damage. And they do have Powdered Snow, which is kind of digging in, and it's going to allow them to spam a little bit faster. But what's going to happen here is we're going to be able to simply outpace them because of our shields. Get to the next Power Whip, take them out. This Ninetales is... Well, Ninetales. Uh, Lantern has no chance. Ninetales didn't have a chance either. Next battle, bad lead up against Whiskash. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, so obviously the Ferrothorn is going to absolutely love to see this matchup here, but we are not going to swap because if we swap into a Ferrothorn, they're going to probably bring in a, a fighter or a fire. So we're just going to hold it down here. Now it was, uh, wanted to catch, but I screwed up. So at this point, we're just going to have to commit to two shields and see if we can pull this battle around here. Well, we use one shield. Now we're swapping with energy on that and they're going to be countering me yet again with the Galvantula. All right, folks. All right, this game is so great. I love it, it's so fun. Okay, so since we're being countered front and back, uh, let's see, or should I say front and center so far? Gonna go for the Psycho Boost. Just doing as much as I can, unfortunately. Gonna be able to farm us down. Galvantula with all that energy is gonna be one annoying son of a gun to deal with. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and shield up this lunge, go for the Aqua Tail and just hope they let this go. Otherwise we're kind of screwed here. All right, they do. We bring in our Ferrothorn to farm them up. We are shieldless, and so are they. And they've got a Clefable in the back. And they just caught with that Whiskash. I had a feeling they were going to do that. I just did. But here's the thing. That Whiskash actually had a decent amount of energy and was almost out of Blizzard. So it's okay that we got off that Power Whip there. That That's perfectly fine. We didn't want to take a Blizzard. What is Clefable going to hit us with? Meteor Mash? Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. We're going to be able to get to another power whip and take the win up against that fairy with the steel holding it down. Let's go. Ferrothorn is very underrated. It's such a good Pokemon. I do have a shiny. I just have not powered it up. Next battle met with an Umbreon. This is interesting. Now if they have Psychic, nah, I'm not going to say it's a wrap, but we're not going to win this matchup for this, uh, this front lead here. They got foul play. And I would assume they're going to go straight for Psychic if they had it. Now, some people can't play mind games. They go for that to make you think that they don't have Psychic. Then all of a sudden, bam, they hit you with the super effective. But they're going for another foul play here, indicating that they don't have it. And we're going to be able to get to another Aqua Tail. Do they want to shield up their Umbreon? They're going to let it go. Dragalgy holding it down up against that. And whoa, what do we got here? A Ferrothorn on their team very interesting so we're gonna go for outrage here because i'm not trying to swap and i'm just trying to do some good damage before we go down now i bring in my own ferrothorn just because i know they're gonna start throwing these power whips or thunders which we're gonna be resisting so there you go and look at what they have on their team mm -mm. before we got this up so you already know they're not copying and it doesn't matter if you guys do i that's that's what this channel's for okay let's let's get that one thing straight i gotta say that again let me repeat myself if you copy my team, that's what this channel is for, okay? <laughs> but Poke, you get mad at other people, like content, content creators that run their mouth about me and then talk and then use my team. Yeah, that's a different story. That's a different story. They they actually use the same titles too, which is hilarious. Or they'll change a word. Anyways, uh, we are kind of maintaining this whole situation here. We're gonna throw in our ferret throwing to catch a power whip. Oh, and at this point. We were already looking good, but now it's certain. I mean, they were on track. They were doing pretty good. And Thunder is, yeah, that, that's what you want to go for. Probably should have went for a Power Whip, knowing that they were going to shield this up because there's no other way. Uh, so we could have done that, and that's okay. We're still going to be getting to another Thunder. 
in the mirror match with the Ferrothorns. My Ferrothorns taking the win. Well, not quite. <laughs> There's this, but we're bringing in the bringing in the Deoxys. My goodness, can I speak? And taking that win because I knew I needed to hold down that counter. All right, so we're gonna put Ferrothorn in the back and put Deoxys in the middle. Let's see what kind of a Pokemon we can pull up front here now. Okay, we got a Nine Tails. It's, uh, it's not great with Charm. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and swap into Deoxys. They're gonna bring it in an Umbreon. Now I don't really mind this we're countered in the front and now we're countered right here this is definitely a counter just because we have the move counter doesn't mean we're going to counter it okay because there's still a dark type that's spamming dark type moves that are super effective and getting stabbed so countered in the front countered in the middle you gotta love this game always especially if you take wins it's just gonna throw your ass under the bus unless you're one of these ass kissers that gets the content early so if you're wondering, well, Niantic just threw out that content so quickly and uh, these guys just threw out their video like literally 30 seconds later. Yeah, because they're getting the inside information because they're kissing ass. All right, next battle, what do we got? Or what's going on up here? Got your gouging. All right, we're going to start throwing that Aqua Tail, doing some damage, bringing in the Ferrothorn, and they've got a Galarian Stunfisk in the back. Well, you know, this is looking pretty good. I think all we really need to do here is kind of make sure we call the Earthquake which is gonna be doing a decent amount, but again, the, the grass is kind of keeping it neutral. We're calling the rock side, baby. We're calling the rock side, baby. It was a little soon, so I was just thinking, you know what, let's go ahead and let that go. And there you go. Since we did call that, we're looking good. Now, more than likely, this is gonna be a rock side. There it is, that's fine, no problem. But using all that energy, I don't see them getting to an earthquake here, so we're gonna go ahead and just throw that power whip, swap into our Dragalge, start farming up here, and seeing that we're not taking super effective from Charm because we are going to be part poison with the Dragalge, I think we're looking good to go here. And we might even be able to finish it off with the Dragalge. Yes, we do. Getting to the Aqua Tail and taking the win up against that Fairy with our Dragon. Let's go. That's why Dragalge is so good because it's not taking that super effective from those Fairy types. Next battle met with a Metacham, which is okay. We, I mean, it's not really good. <laughs> Let's be real. Uh, they've got Ice Punch. They've got Psychic. And both of those are super effective. Yeah, sure, the counter's resisted, but that's not really... I mean, it's working in our favor, but, uh, yep. It's not particularly great here. But we'll just have to work with what we got, right? So we're going to go ahead and throw another Aqua Tail here. Unfortunately, could have got off an Outrage. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Yeah, 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 yeah. It always is like that. We're going to let this go, which is probably a Psychic. Yep, there it is. No problem at all. And now we're going to go ahead and bring in Deoxys to farm him up here. Come out of this with a decent amount of energy before they get to a charge move. Bringing in... Oh, wow, this is going to be the last battle. There you go. All right, the mascot, we're going up against it. And it has Ice Fin, which is uh, very interesting. I'm sure that puts in some work up against those Flyers for sure and those Dragons. And I just personally prefer Fire Fang. That's just my thing. So they're going to be swapping as we do bring in our Ferrothorn. If they had Fire Fang, we would have been in a whole hell of a... Well, not really. We got Deoxys. We still would have been okay. But they're going to be swapping. They got a nice counter in the back, which is going to be Obstagoon. But we're still going to be hitting them up with Power Whip, which is powering through their health. As you can see here, bringing back that Mawile and going right for their charge move. I would suspect this is a power up punch. Starting up to vamp up their attack. Okay, sounds good to me. But at this point, it's pretty much a wrap. They can't really do it. But good fight anyways. And nice Mawile. If you did enjoy my video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll be catching you all next time. Take care. So you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic. It's out of my head. But I'm still in control. It's out of my head. You
can never take